it's been a minute since I've responded to skepticism and there have been some videos recently that let me know that it was time to make another one of these. One video in particular asked some really good questions. Questions that I've asked myself during my own skepticism. I too am a skeptic. Skepticism is so important. It helps us to remain objective. But what I have that these other folks don't is my knowledge of Bunny, my experience with her, and a whole lot of context. Now I'm gonna have to blast through some of these points because I have a lot to say. Speaking of which, that is why I speed things up in my clips because it's TikTok and watching an animal stand and think for 45 seconds would probably be an automatic swipe for most folks. No one would ever get to the end of one of my videos. And why do I give her so much time to respond? Well, it seems that our animal companions need a bit more processing time than we do. And it makes sense. When I speak in my second language, it takes me a bit longer to process as well. Sometimes Bunny will do a thing where she walks in a circle between presses. I coined it her thinking circle. And we've seen other dogs and even cats do something similar. Now to the language bit. This comes up all the time. I've never said this was language. In fact, most outlandish claims about Bunny aren't even made by me at all, but some clickbait driven news headline. My current favorite is feeling rough. Bunny, the talking sheepadoodle who can talk by using a sound bar, alarms followers after asking for antidepressant medication and questioning her identity. So what is language? Truth be told, the goalposts on what language is changes pretty regularly, but it will always be a system of communication. There are many systems of communication whose primary job it is to simply exchange information. Other such systems of communication in humans include nonverbal and visual. And the truth is, I don't care if this is language. It's just not an interesting question to me. Whether it is communication is beyond doubt. It is communication. Even if Bunny has zero understanding of the meaning of any button, it is still communication. A bid for attention, a request for play, did you see that thing outside? Communication. But it just so happens that these communications have a word associated with them. A rough approximation, perhaps, of a concept, but oftentimes enough of one that we get each other. Dogs have been evolutionarily selected for their ability to cooperate and communicate with us. Look at working border collies, search and rescue dogs, bomb sniffing dogs. I still have folks in my comment sections unironically saying that dogs can't communicate at all or that they're not sentient. So this whole it's not language thing just isn't the gotcha that people think it is. I want to remind you that what you see on my profile is incomplete data. I only post what I think is interesting, not every time she presses outside and I let her outside, that's boring, or when she presses rain and it's sunny out, in which case I say, no, bunny, it's sunny. Again, that's just not super interesting content to me, but I suppose it would show that she's not always right, which is what some people claim. But to that point, I absolutely do try to presume competence. This allows me the most opportunity to build associations organically and doesn't risk putting the behavior of pressing buttons under extinction. It's hard to build a conceptual reinforcement history. So my aim is for being understood itself to be the reinforcer. This is one reason why I've never used food in conjunction with button training, nor does Bunny have any food related buttons. I've tried to adopt an errorless learning protocol in our other training as well. It's not easy, but it creates a low pressure, low stakes game where we both win. And in the end, it's yes and, not but, or the game ends, right? With a toddler, for example, you presume competence. You allow time for their whittled developing brains to process all this new and wild information. And if they start to babble to a stranger, well, probably only mom can translate. It's a sort of ontogenetic ritualization. Does Bunny get rings thong? I mean, things wrong? Yeah, me too. And just like a toddler, Bunny seems to babble when a new button is introduced, trying the new word on for size, as it were. You know, when speech delayed children first acquire communication tablets, they babble too, pressing buttons in various combinations to see how they sound and what the outcome will be. Presume competence is a phrase I first heard from speech language pathologist, Christina Hunger. In her book, she recounts working with nine-year-old Oliver. Oliver is autistic, he has a severe speech delay and he uses a communication device. He was repeatedly saying rice and dinosaur. It had no meaning to hunger, it made no sense. But day after day, she presumed competence. She maintained belief in his potential, didn't shut him down. And then one day she went to another floor of the building with a different client. And what do you think they found there? That's right, a bin full of dinosaurs buried in rice. There really aren't 
any arguments made in any debunking video I've seen that haven't already been considered by the team of PhDs running the study and writing the papers. I believe there are one or two papers currently under review, and trust me, y'all will be the first to know when they drop. Till then, a uh, couple cool things going on on my end that I should tell you about. Now that we have the app up and running, collecting all sorts of data, we can create a data dashboard for Bunny and we can make it public so that anyone who wants to can see exactly what she's been up to on any given day. I'll be pairing that with daily time-lapse videos from the cameras on Bunny's board. And in the fall, my book is coming out. So there will be a fuller picture there of what the last four years of my life have looked like. In the end, I, I don't think these critical videos are getting it right, but even if they were, what's the worst that can happen? I look like a kook, but I've had a blast and I have a killer relationship with my dogs. And like, what's the best that can happen? I, I don't know, we change the world and how we view animal welfare? Like, like I'll take that risk. And last but certainly not least, it is very important to remember that Bunny is a computer generated artificial intelligence, so we really just don't know what she's capable of yet. My hope is that everyone who watches this can just stay curious.